So I'm going to be going over the top three best metaverse cryptos to hold for the long term going into 2022 all the way into 2025. Now, I think there's a lot of confusion out there on which metaverse cryptos you should buy. So I really hope this helps you guys out. Now, I'm going to be going over these coins here on Coinbase. Got my account pulled up, which is still down from 200K for like the last two and a half months. It is what it is. Now, I do have to point out none of this is financial advice, guys, but I do own every single one of the coins I'm going to be going over, and I strongly believe they're going to go up a lot more from where they're currently at. I'm also going to throw some price predictions out there on where I think these could go in the next year, and I'm going to kick things off with the Sandbox. Now, the Sandbox is a coin that's been moving like crazy as of late. It's currently sitting at a $6 billion market cap and trading around $7. Now, basically what this coin is, it's a software running on Ethereum that operates a decentralized virtual gaming world. Now, at its core, the Sandbox is a game in which players can buy digital plots of land and create experiences on top of them. Now, it's very similar to Decentraland, which is a coin I'm also going to be talking about in this video. However, if you look at the one-year chart on the Sandbox, it was literally at four and five cents. I mean, it's gone up a ton. However, I think it's still got room to go up. And my price prediction for this is anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks in the next six to 12 months. I truly believe that. I bought a pretty big bag of this. Um, if you were going to buy into it right now, I would probably wait for a pullback around four or five bucks. Uh, but if you don't want to wait, and you just want to average in, I mean, you could still get it around this price. It's just that, you know, you want to wait for the dips, guys. You don't want to be buying when things are going up. And clearly, the sandbox has been killing it. And, you know, I it is going to continue killing it. But if you want to get a good price, maybe wait a little bit on it. I also recommend looking into the communities around these projects. And the sandbox definitely has one. And it's, uh, it's definitely a coin you should look into, right? Okay, the next coin I'm going to get into is going to be Decentraland. Now, Decentraland has had a crazy run. It's currently sitting around an $8.7 billion market cap. The price is just a little bit under 5 bucks. Now, this is a coin that is... Uh, I mean, it's crazy. They're operating a uh, basically a marketplace where they're selling virtual land. Now, Atari is one of the biggest investors in this project, which is a reason I think that it's going to do extremely well. And I do anticipate the price on this, you know, tripling or quadrupling from where it's currently at. Now, if I was going to buy into it right now, I'd probably wait for it to dip under four dollars again, which I think is going to happen in the short term. But you could always average into it. Uh, unfortunately, if you didn't buy into it on, you know, my recommendations over the last year, I've been saying get this coin when it was under a dollar for a really long time, you know, because I just felt like it was a ticking time bomb and it was going to blast off eventually. Uh, it's had a really good year, not as crazy as the Sandbox, obviously, but, you know, it's another coin I recommend looking into. They've got some big uh, social communities, but it's really what they've kind of got in the pipeline, you know, going down the road, which I think is going to just propel this coin to go even higher than where it's at and, you know, at least triple or quadruple. Okay, let's get into the final coin, guys, uh, you know, which is one of my favorites at the moment. And I think that it's probably going to give you one of the best returns. And I can't believe it hasn't popped off more than uh, where it's at. So let's uh, let's check it out. And before we get more into this, I want to recommend everyone check out the Binance US app. Now, this is my go to cryptocurrency trading app that I highly recommend checking out, especially if you're not in crypto right now. Now, cryptocurrency is a great way to make money using your phone. So if you guys want to learn more about Binance US or get started, we'll have some bonus sign up and resource links in both the description and comments. OK, in my final metaverse crypto play to hold for the long term, I'm talking one, two, three, four, five years down the road is going to be the engine coin. Now, engine has had a great year and it's taken off pretty decent, but it's got a lot more room to go up. So currently it's sitting at a 3.8 billion market cap. The price is around four bucks. Uh, I've been saying price prediction wise anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks in the next six to 12 months. You know, this is easily a 10 billion plus market cap cryptocurrency. It's been around since 2009. You know, if you got in under three bucks, congrats to you. But even getting in around this price, as long as you're willing to hold on to it for the long term, man, it's it's a big win. Now, uh, these guys are a leader in the NFT space currently. They've got a marketplace with over 17,000 items for sale. They started a $100 million NFT fund recently, and they've got a lot of partnerships. You know, 
Uh, I feel like engines the future and out of the three coins I'm going over, I think this one's going to give you the best return from where it's currently at. And I think that, uh, it's just going to do big things. Now I'm going to pull up the marketplace. I was actually looking at a, uh, something on here. It was called a nestable. Check this thing out. Look at this guy right here. Pretty hilarious looking, right? Okay. So I'm just going to wrap things up by saying, you know, if you're not sure where to get right or where to start right now in the metaverse space. I truly believe these are all good long-term plays. So if you're not somebody who's like just trying to buy in and sell after holding onto a coin for a few days or a week, then yeah, I think the sandbox, Decentraland, and Engine are all solid plays. And I would definitely like split my money into them. Um, and yeah, that's what I would do. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more crypto content, and we'll see you guys in the next crypto video.